CNN coming at you with a scary movie commentary, a scary commentary, episode three. Not technically, it's brought to you by Anchor Bay Entertainment. The film is made by Anchor Bay. We're going to watch Hatchet today. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. How, what do you think of Hatchet? Do you like Hatchet? Have you seen it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say more than that. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's great you couldn't even give me that jesus all right this is a fun movie fuck you then <laughs> just go <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's all right <laughs> fucker i we sat here and went through like a hundred movies and i said is hatchet okay yeah sure <laughs> That's great. Just do it. What? Why would you say that? No, Morgan's leaving. <laughs> yeah, well, he's doing a podcast, baby. Is is Mimi here? Yeah. Go go in there. Dude, that's funny that he's like, just because my wife's leaving, so you you gotta go. <laughs> get get <laughs> out of my house. I think she's leaving you behind. Anyway, god damn it. We, it Hatchet. Hey, well, that wasn't as bad as the Leprechaun thing. Mm. Watched the whole movie and my response. We, wa- the, we, we accidentally fucked up the episode, but we watched the Leprechaun 3 where he goes to Las Vegas. And we got through the end of the film and I asked, I asked my brother, what did you think? And he looked right at me and said, well, it was longer than I thought. That was, you just, <laughs> you left it there. I'm not going to lie, it got boring near the end. <laughs> it's, you know what, fuck you. It's, it's, you're just, you're, you get tired way too easy. That's what it is. That's why I, I so far I have like two cups of coffee. I'm ready. Okay, so we got some coffee in his ass. Are you going to get, a, what do you really just, think of Hatchet? He's just enema. What about an enema? Coffee enema. God damn it. This is Scary Commentary Episode 3. We can't go too deep into anything else. Let's start the film. Are you ready to start this movie? This movie is starring Kane Hodder. I fucking guess. The fucking guy from uh, Grandma's Boy. <laughs> That's, That's a good movie. It's a, it's a great movie. All right. Three, two, one. We're going to start Hatchet right now. But it doesn't really use watch Hatchet. Like buckets of blood, which is unnecessary. Yeah, the kills in this movie, every time somebody gets murdered, it's like somebody ran, runs up with a bucket of blood and splashes it on the fucking trees just like, ah. in the background. Like, that's what they film. It it cuts away, and it's just... <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> somebody got paid to do that. That's awesome. What's your, what is your, what is your uh, job? What is your job name? Oh, uh, Would you be called Buckets? Would they call you the Bucket Guy? The Bucket O' Blood Guy? That's your company name, <laughs> Bucket Old Blood Enterprises. <laughs> just blood ink. You just you. That's what you specialize in is just splashing blood against trees. But they're not good. They just throw buckets. <laughs> they're horrible. <laughs> Starts out with Robert England on a boat in the swamp with his son. Fucking Freddy Krueger's. I love Freddy Krueger smoking a pipe, hunting gator. Robert England was I just Robert England was a wonderful he's an actor's actor. Like he has stories for days. That man can will not shut the fuck up at a Comic Con. Dude, he looks just like Freddy. I, just, I I know I know he played him, but like it's all it's all I see is just Freddy. It's hard he did Freddy hard for so long, it's to hard see. to look at him and go, Oh, you know. Because he has that he just has he had just his cheekbones and his eyes and it just it's hard not just to see Freddy. His facial structure was a lot of it. The way his eyes are shaped. This is, you could easily just like think of this as like Freddy spending time with his 
with his son out in the bayou. Like, what drove this man mad? This is a prequel. <laughs> but thought he's older. Hatchet, than the, get, Hatchet killed him. I thought he's older in this movie than he was the other ones. <laughs> That's true. Oh, don't piss in the water. Don't piss in the wawa. Don't take a pee in the wawa right behind your papa. That's how you get gators. Don't look at me, Dada. Adam Green, who made this movie, um, didn't even plan to put Kane Hodder as Victor Crowley originally. They should have had that dude that played. Uh, uh, no, they got who they needed. Are you serious? No, 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 no. Kane Hodder's boss. No, the dude that played. Uh, Don't you disrespect Kane Hodder right here? No, no, the dude that played uh, Rumpus Dillskin. <laughs> you just disrespected the <laughs> fuck out of him, and I'm. I'm that guy, I don't even know if that guy's still alive, dude. Can you imagine a little itty bitty dude like that? He probably don't <laughs> even act anymore. Chasing you. <laughs> Rumpled Stiltskin. Give me the baby Johnny. Yeah, <laughs> <Hey>, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> Sounds like Joey from Friends trying to pick up chicks. Hey, baby. <laughs> he fucking rides a Harley and shit. He does, and he dri- he goes straight from, uh, I think, from a motorcycle to, to a, a fucking big rig to out a big nowhere. Rig. The guy who made Leprechaun made that movie. It's like, yeah, it, it was like it tried too hard to be Leprechaun. Well, a lot of that guy's success was in that. that pillow. I'm washing all over. But get get a blanket and so, put it under your ass. Yeah. Is that chair hard? Fuck yeah, it's wooden. This is an hour long movie. You get the fucking comfortable padded one. Lyle never complains. Yeah. Okay. Well. He probably has, like, more fucking cushion in his pushing. I don't know. He's used to stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's used to hard shit by his ass. Sorry, buddy. He's going to be here tomorrow. We're going to do a podcast. I don't okay. know if he wants to do a podcast or another scary commentary. But I might stop by. I haven't seen Kyle in a while. You should come do the podcast with us. I haven't seen him in a long time. Since, I, I, since like, what, the last podcast I did with you guys? I don't think I'd want to be in the swamp at night. Where you know what you know what's so obvious about this movie? I love how self aware it is, but there's bright ass lights in the background for lighting. It's dark as fuck in the swamp. <laughs> I mean, they tried their best, okay. That's why they don't they don't care to splash it's so cheap too, like just splash a bucket of blood on a tree every now and then. Nine o'clock it. <laughs> He's walking up with something. Just Bam! Use a fucking water hose and turn the bitch on. And it has blood. That'd be of water. It's just like 10 minutes of blood spraying on a tree. It's like a water hose with like red Kool-Aid in it. Like, <laughs> you see the guy's hand. Robert England's mutilated. But was his butt touched? That's the question. I would say, yeah. Uh, I'd say definitely. I'd say I'd say Victor Crowley's very lonely out in the swamp. It's like but, Shrek. You hear from man booty. Oh, we should play that on the podcast. <laughs> that, was pretty, that, was, that was pretty funny. He showed me a video of Shrek. Uh, it was like a goofy ass video of like Shrek walking into a house and Chris Hansen is there like how to catch a predator. How to catch a predator? Yeah. To catch a predator. Chris Hansen, you're here for a 15-year-old, and he was like, no, I'm here for man booty. I'm here for you. That'd be funnier if it was actually Shrek's voice. They can do it either way or the hard way. <laughs> you're choosing the hard way. I'm here for you, and donkeys outside. I can't do a Shrek impression, but you know what it would sound like. Have you seen that fucking video where Shrek uh, is talking to Donkey? He's like, you're making all my stuff smell like dick. I don't watch it. <laughs> it's like, you're making my house feel like dick, donkey. It really seems like you're on the internet looking up obscure shit. I am. Then he's like, he's like, you got my Shrek's box. He's like, my Xbox. No, my Shrek's box smells like dick. <laughs> donkey. <laughs> Speaking of Xbox. Your own house smells like dick. That's a new topic. Xbox. Xbox I X. Know, I don't know what I'm getting yet. 
Don't get a PlayStation. <laughs> Dude, if they fix PlayStation's their fucking, overrated. If they fix their fucking controllers. PlayStation's overrated. I mean, if they fix their controllers and, and the triggers are actually more adaptive and better, I would try it. But that's, that's the only reason why I like PS4 is because the controllers are nice. Movie starts out at Mardi Gras, a bunch of boobies. I certainly don't mind those. You know what I mean? No comment. I know you got. I know you're. You know you're. You're what? You're that what? Type twi- of guy. What? What? Twenty one over the uh, age. Are you only twenty one? Yeah. Jesus Christ! Fucking children. Be twenty two, uh, January. Next year. Looks like a dirty place. Cigarette butts. Spill semen. alcohol. Bunch of semen, probably. Semen bunch covered. Of semen. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be in a group like that with a bunch of boobies around because you know there's some pervert out there just wanking it. The little, uh, right under. on somebody's butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got a hole in the fucking pocket. It's like th- this whole like sequence here was just an excuse to have a bunch of boobs in the movie party. Yeah, the the thing is, is Hatchet. I don't know. We'll have to watch the other ones, but there's there's always gratuitous sexuality well, in it. Th- there's no need for this. I I, I mean I mean I, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying like for a weird narrative inspector, it's inspector, this it's was weird. supposed to be a fan film by a fan, and it turned out to be a decent budget movie. Like and. Then, he actually got Kane Hodder, and he had John Beekler, who was, uh, he had made uh, Friday the 13th Part That's 7. That one dude. I like that guy. Yeah, the main guy's the, I don't know the kid's name, but he's from Grandma's Boy. He plays the robot guy. The, the robot nerd. He's also. What, Bubba? Oh, thank you very much, baby. <laughs> He's also from Dukes of Hazard too. Yeah, he's in Dukes of Hazard. He plays Cooter. He's in the Dukes of Hazard prequel. That guy with the pot uh, beads, that's Adam Green. That's the guy who wrote and directed it. Oh. Oh, you don't want that. I'd get my money back. I'd rather have sweaty balls than just. Why things. don't you take that? Why are you bitching at your friends about sweaty balls? The room smells like sweaty balls. Well, guess what? Why don't you bitch to the fucking manager? Clean it up. I'm paying you, dog. No, I don't want to disturb him. <laughs> nah. I don't want to bother you in I'll just Facebook. Ru- I'll just ruin my fucking friend's trip. Sir, excuse me. Could you put down Candy Crush real quick? Upstairs smells like sweaty balls. And just If anything can. smells like sweaty balls, dude, get some Lysol. What the fuck? At least do your fucking part, guy. Jesus. It probably smells like sweaty balls because you, you're one of those weird guys that wears pants all the time, the same pants. I mean, he wears his... You, like nev- you just never change your pants. You I mean, wash them like once, a, once, once, a once a month. Oh, shit, no. He's talking sweaty dude, ball smell. There's dude. a dude at fucking Howard Stern show who, like, he never washes them. He only puts them in the freezer. He never washes free. them or washes them? I say wash. Don't give me no Yeah, I know you that. do. So, yeah, he Down never... Down in Missouri. He, he never washes them, so... He just puts them in the freezer and Febreze's them like once a month. Oh, and he yeah. he shit in those pants on fucking on the radio show. And he just puts them in the freezer. Don't tell me about that right now. Jesus. Don't be violent. They go knocking on a door because they're bored. It's a uh, swamp tour. Voodoo, man. Tony Todd answers the door. Tony Todd is, a, of course, candy man. He plays Reverend Zombie. He gives swamp tours to people. He's a schwindler. May may not touch your winner. He's in Hatchet, too. I really like Hatchet, too. I like the top hat. You know what's great great about Tony Todd is you know that he was like, I want to wear this. I want to paint my eye and wear a jewel at the bottom. You can't tell me fucking anything else. Perhaps... Perhaps you bring my hook for my hand. Perhaps I'd just be Candyman instead. <laughs> Perhaps we just put Candyman in the film and he fights Hatchet. How would you like that? And he he's, wins. He's, yeah, he's like, he, like, he demands it. Like he, <laughs> and he also gets a bunch of virgins. <laughs> and 
Also, he has a lot of real gratuitous nude sex scenes. Fully nude. Candyman fucking, I say. Why? I, I almost changed him to like an Englishman. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> the whole movie, and I went the whole hour, just me. He, d- <laughs> I, love, I fucking love Tony Todd. Uh, he's in a lot of the Final Destinations. He was also in the 1990 remake to Night of the Living Dead, which uh, Tom Savini directed, which is actually a decent remake of it. With his, he, he, I mean, you, you can tell his outfit was like just made for this movie because it doesn't look worn, doesn't look, it just looks all brand new. Well, I'm sure since sometimes maybe they have to wear it for weeks on end, they wash it before they wear them and just put makeup on them if they have to make it look worn, and then they don't wash it again to keep up with continuity. I think that's how movies work. Like, they give you clean clothes to wear, but they're going to dress them up if they need to look worn. And if they don't need to look worn, they're just washed. But they probably don't wash it again. I could be wrong. The main guy's trying to get over a breakup like a pussy. He can't handle boobies everywhere. I, I, this is, doesn't make sense. I mean, well, you see his he sideburns, might have, right? He might have been like, yeah, well, he probably, he's like a Night at the Roxbury. He puts cardboard over his sideburns and makes them up. Oh, that's such a good movie. If you want my body. Chris Kattan. Fuck Chris Kattan. Fuck off. Chris, don't you ever get the fuck out? <laughs> Bring up that name. Here's a monkey bone. Monkey bone? He was in Monkey Bone, was he? Monkey Bone was a good movie. Monkey Bone was dope. That was one of Brendan Fraser's actually, like one of his like. Uh, nobody talks about that movie very much. It, it, it's sad that he fell off the map. Just dude, he is so soft spoken. Have you seen interviews with him? He looks fucking depressing. He like, he like talks like this into the mic, and yeah, used my to life be. was. Uh, my my life was huge and it yeah. uh, went away. Pretty sucks. Yeah. That's exactly how he talks. He was on Sway, and I'm like, oh my god, this man was broken by something. Like something fucked him up yeah, so bad. He was a fucking star. Then like I don't know where he uh, was. Nobody. I was in the Mummy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And, and nobody uh, remembered me. <laughs> I did a cameo. Uh, I was an Encino man. I was George of the Jungle. You remember George of the Jungle? I was in George of the Jungle. No one does. All they remember uh, is Monkey Bone. I auditioned for Lost Boys, didn't get it. Life kind of sucks. I mean. uh, Polly Shore is kind of weird. <laughs> I, put, I put all my stock on Polly Shore and Lost. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, Polly Shore said he would take me places. I did Airheads. Airheads is a great fucking movie. God, so many boobs in this movie. Conehead was pretty good too. Coneheads. <laughs> I like uh, what's his nut, uh, Dan Aykroyd. Coneheads. Have hey, we watched Ghostbusters? Just uh, yeah. More as an adult now, I forget about how Dan Aykroyd got a blowjob from a ghost. Yeah, dude, Dan Aykroyd's a dirty motherfucker. And that was fucking. That was like that's like a kids' movies now. Like it's promoted like oh kids. That, uh, it wasn't back Dan then. Dan Aykroyd believes in everything from aliens to ghosts. Yeah, that fucking crystal the skull. Paranormal. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I made my alcohol out of pure fucking crystal skull because that's what ancient. Yeah, I was like, you fucking nuts. He's goofy. He's uh, he's off a little bit. Like I have the right to tell anybody they're off. Well, I mean, he, he's a little fucking wacky. There's a guy that's acting like he's some kind of porn master. Some movie. kind of. He's like a uh, girls gone wild guy. Which I'm assuming he's not. Which is amazing, dude. If you can walk around with a camera and just be like, "Hi, ladies, take your tits out," and they just like, "Okay," and do it, you're you're obviously doing something right. Uh, I work for a company. I promise. <laughs> this is one of my favorite characters in the Hatchet movies. Is the little Asian guy who he he starts out with a with a like a, a very like a New Orleans accent. <laughs> and then he gets frustrated later and breaks out into an Asian. He like speaks. I'm not. I don't know what he's. I don't know what it is, but it's Asian. I wanted to prevent myself from sounding racist by <laughs> assuming it. He's like. That's a very good Chinese idea. Chinese or something. 
He's in that area. He's an Asian. That's the joke, because he's an Asian, then he speaks Asian. His accent would be pretty, like, offensive. (laughs) It's the goddamn guy from Joe Dirt and all kinds of other movies. Texas Chainsaw 3D he was in. He's been in some stuff, man. That mustache is famous. People probably confuse him for the diabetes guy. (laughs) <laughs> well, yeah, I think he probably is. I got diabetes. But I still like ice cream. The girl the girl that's uh basically at the beginning Robert England and, and his son are hunting gator and they end up dying and you know that, but uh, they have a uh, sister and daughter who they are missing and she knows they went out there, so she's going on this tour to look for them. And later in the film, she's played by Danielle Harris, who was in Halloween 4 and 5. She was also in Rob Zombie's remake of Halloween. That was a pretty good movie. Rob Zombie's a pretty good director. I was watching a lot of stuff on White Zombie the other night. White Zombie's fucking awesome. I like, I like Power Man 5000. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Power Man 5000. Are those the guys that sing... Uh, this is what it's like when worlds collide. Yeah, it's fucking... St- oh, you're ready to go. Is, isn't his brother named Spider? Or something uh, weird like that? Fuck, I don't know. I don't pay attention to Power Sp- Man 5000. I, I, I think his name was like Spider 1 or some weird shit like that. I don't remember. We can talk like Deftones later or something. I don't I don't listen to fucking... You don't like... I don't what, you want to talk some tour? Hey. What, about, what about Mushroom Head? I was reading an article about how how Mushroom Head uh, regrets their beef with Slipknot. Yeah, I read that too. On Facebook. But they did. I mean, back in the day, they did offer. Like once Paul Gray died, they offered to tour with him and stuff. They kind of dropped the beef. They 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 left their condolences and stuff with them in different ways, and which is really cool that they re- they were cool enough to reach out like that. Like, dude. That sucks. We're sorry. Even though they c- claim to hate each other. <laughs> I mean, it sucks that he died Slipknot and all, pl- but like, they put out a fucking banger of an album after he died, though. That song? Not right after he died. But, all whenever. Hope Is Gone was a great album, but it was it was hard to follow up with the first three. Uh, uh, I think the third one's where they started to kind of lose what they were doing. Because I think they ran out of shit to be to, to scream about all the time. Like he wanted to have more melodic, you know. If you listen to songs like "Left Behind," Corey Taylor's always tried to throw like in like song. his voice, other than just screaming. Well, I mean, well they got rid of the drummer too, so like there's that. Yeah, but he had a. I think what his issue was was he said something was wrong with his legs and he had a medical condition and he couldn't drum for well, him I anymore. Mean, and I, I either way, I mean, after they got a new drummer. They got they put the devil on eye. That song was like a banger. That music video is fucking awesome too. Oh, it is. Fuck though. Very I, when gory. I first saw it, I was like, "Wow, that's fucking cool." Making a porn movie. I like when he when he says this next line. I think I was like, no, I've never watched porn. <laughs> By you, Beaver. Ever heard of Pornhub? Yeah, I mean, no. Never heard of it. Yeah, times are strange, man. Cell phones are very odd, odd entity within itself. I love. I I watched. Uh, I love anything Kane Hodder's in anymore because I watched his documentary and that dude kind of went through some shit. It's really sad, but I I don't for some reason I think it's really corny when people do documentaries and they let them film scenes of them like out in the desert like dropping dirt with their hands and just staring off into the sky like I think because you know that's what they're they're specifically like we got to get some sweet shots like, hey, of hey. you just thinking it's like hey I need to grab this fucking rock and just throw it which film me real quick like ready <laughs> he's skipping rocks and they're filming it and it he's, he's skipping rocks and he's like hey 
fucking film this. <laughs> it's on. I'm trying to be natural, god damn it. I watched, uh, I also watched, speaking of documentary, Scream Queen, My Nightmare on Elm Street, and it was about Mark Patton, the gay, he wasn't open in 85 when the movie came out, but he's an activist now for um, the LGBTQ community. There's a lot of letters, I don't know. LGBTQ. That's in me. I'm, I try to say it and just I get tongue twisted and it confuses me. It's a really sad documentary too. The writer was an asshole to him, kind of. This Asian dude looks very sketchy. See, I like to see the kid that you're talking about. The main guy in this that's in Grandma's Boy. He's funny in a lot of stuff he's in, but for some reason in this, I didn't like him in this. He seems very... He's too whiny. Bland. He's too fucking... Oh. That's, it's too, like, oh, I don't want to be here. Oh, I hate my life. Why are we here? Then fucking leave. Quit continuing with the fucking thing and just leave. Go fuck yourself. You basic. This, is, this would be a really cool boat to take out on the lake. It's like wrapped in lights and shit. Mm. This man in the boat off to the distance that's telling them not to take the boat because it's his or whatever. Or he's, I, th I think he's warning them about Victor Crowley. He, that's John Beekler. That dude created the movie Demonic Toys, basically. He created the toys. He's an effects guy. Mm. He directed uh, Friday the 13th Part 7, and that was the first Friday the 13th where Kane Hodder played Jason. So they're good friends. He's in this one and the second one, and then he dies in the second one. Spoiler alert. I should have said that. You say that before. You yeah, don't no, say that no. after you say the shit. You just, you just edit that out. In uh, Avengers Endgame, Tony Stark dies at the end. Spoiler alert. Fuck you and fuck your fucking fuck. I like how they make a reference to He's like, he drinks his own urine. And then he actually, if you find out he actually drinks his own urine. Fucking dude, there's no sense of wasting it. That's I like this homage to like the crazy Ralph in Friday the thirteenth. He's riding around on a bicycle. You're doomed. He's actually drinking pee. Oh, yeah. Victor coming <laughs> for your booty. <laughs> Victor wants your booty hole. I I uh that's what's so great about this movie is it's such a it's such a uh, homage to 80s slasher and monster movies. Dude, they better get their fucking 30,000 fucking 5 gallon buckets full of blood ready. <laughs> Dude, they use two like 5 gallon buckets. They full use blood. more in the in the later movies. They use way more in the later movies. I think each movie tried to top how much, like, gratuitous blood splashes. You, fucking, you get a paper cut and a whole five-gallon bucket. <laughs> oh, ah. <laughs> I died. Paper cut. You just see somebody cut their finger with a razor blade and flick it. <laughs> <laughs> they flick it and there's a whole bucket. <laughs> there's not a little drop. Somebody, like, gets punched and blood splashes up against the tree. It's just pointless shit. The fucking they cover a whole wall. <laughs> just blood just runs down a wall. <laughs> I think just punched the whole blood out of your fucking body. You know what this scene reminded me of was Leprechaun Two. You've seen Leprechaun Two, right? Where I've the seen. he's given the them. haunted haunted Hollywood tours. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what this reminded me of. That was a pretty good movie too. It wasn't bad. Leprechaun the first. The first three and then the last two are good. I don't like the fourth one very much. Meh. Of course, we watched three and I was like, ah, I used to love that movie. And when I watch it as an adult, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. That's why I was like, yeah, a little bit longer. It's than Leprechaun if you're into Leprechaun, but it's yeah. not, I don't think it's anything like the first or second one now. I mean, if you're going to watch it, you need to watch them like in order. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably a sign why it didn't work. Yeah. We're going to try to watch all the films we do on Scary Commentary in order, but... They call them Amos Moses. <laughs> <laughs> the Jerry Reed song. He was in the, alligator, in the Swamp Hunt and Alligators. 
He lived out here, and his name was Sue. His daddy named him that because he's an asshole. No, it was Amos Moses. Amos Mo- I know that. I'm talking about Johnny Cash. Oh. You made a reference. I made a reference. Yeah, but Fuck you. But yours, but yours wasn't to a song. I don't know why you got to be like this. I don't, I don't understand. Since I do this sometimes. <laughs> He's just trying. Y'all got a crawfish yet? I'm so glad they did. <laughs> it's like a little fucking whiny little emo kid. I mean, this shirt too. It's a little fucking yeah. shitty smiley face. Oh yeah, they tried too hard. He's he's trying way too hard to be the depressed guy, the innocent depressed guy. I think. Uh, He's trying way too hard to be relatable and likable, and it's coming off as just fucking the very opposite of brash, like a shy little whiny kid. Some dude's gonna touch butt. <laughs> what a rude asshole. He watches documentaries, dog. He watches. He fucking knows. Those are Mars papers. I've seen this on TV. Yep. And this bu- and <laughs> this this the side character, his friend, his buddy. This guy's trying way too hard to be the comedic relief. Yeah. I'm a f- I'm a funny crazy guy. Like I'm like hilarious. Scrubs. Yeah, I'm fucking hilarious. I'm the token black guy. You have to like. Me. I'm the token black guy. They always use that in the ploy in every movie. That's why it's called token. Yeah. Holy shit, it was Victor Crowley in the lights. Man bear pig. <laughs> that dude's like, I'm gonna get murdered. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Hey, I like how they just they just treat it like a job. Oh, I gotta so show my tits again. They're so over it. Yeah, chicks don't talk like that. That is sexist, and I don't like it. I- I'm with you, ladies. That was ridiculous. This is so chauvinistic. That's why we've got a strong female lead. You think the guy's the lead, but fuck him. He becomes a video game designer. Who talks like a robot and tries to get a date with uh, Velma <laughs> from Scooby Doo? Beep boop bop, nerds. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his mom catches that dude jerking off. <laughs> that was I like when he's when he, I like in the movie. Dude, you came on my mom. <laughs> I like, I like when the robot nerd guy uh, is listening in on their conversation. Then he's in the hallway and he hides against the wall, and he's like, "What are you doing?" And he just sits there and says nothing. He's like, whatever. And he walks off and he's like, how did he see me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good fight. How did he see me? He's great in other shit. It's just this movie, he's too whiny. He's not. A... They, they made him too bitchy. Spoiler alert. I was happy when he died at the end of this movie. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad his butthole got touched. The boat they're in rammed up against a rock. This seems like a very incompetent little Asian man tour. It seems that Eraser had to make the Asian guy wrecked the boat. This movie's very racy, ain't it? They made not the Asian ra- guy wrecked. It's it's not racy as in s- sexual, but it's like, well, it is that too, but it's it's very like race based. Race based. I'm sorry, I'm just spitting bars like crazy. Now it's gonna rain on him. Like Wes Khalifa. Let's hope trioxin's not in that rain. Am I right? 
<laughs> Am I right? No. Shut the okay. Up. I just don't want them to turn into zombies. I care. Nobody cares about your science mumbo jumbo. Yeah, you nasty bitch. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's how that works. I don't understand why she's so, like... Yeah. They tried to make it sound dumb, but it's like, you yeah, know, that's actually accurate. Yeah, the police and the cops. Yeah, I mean, they're the same it's thing. all the same it's thing. Different name. And the cops are going to send the troopers. <laughs> they're going to send the Marines, the Navy. Isn't that what Ozzy says in Leprechaun 1? Hello, send the, the Marines, the Navy? Uh, SEAL Team 6? I don't remember. Send Freddy Krueger, Jason, Leatherface, every one of them. It's a leprechaun. Just how? <laughs> Just how? <laughs> how? This isn't the joke no more. Sharon, help. <laughs> help. We were just painting a house. What the fuck? He gets all fucking southern on everyone. I don't want to die. <laughs> Wait, aren't you from British? Uh, uh, yeah. I can't believe they killed Ozzy off in the newest leprechaun. But that was sad. <laughs> you haven't seen that one, Leprechaun Returns? It's got I the so. the actor who. Do you remember that? Uh, I, mean, I, I might have, but I don't. Marlon Wayne's and Dame uh, Sean Wayne's movie, the Little Man. <laughs> yeah. He played the body, the the baby basically, but it was a little person, and they just superimposed Marlon Wayne's face just, on him. There's just so many Leprechaun movies. Just I get him so mixed up. The newest one. They There's like out. eight of them. Mm, I would technically Close. say seven. I don't count that WWE shit as a leprechaun. Mm, well, <laughs> that had nothing to do with the leprechaun everybody likes. But they just said leprechaun origins. They banked off the fucking name. Grabbed what small fan base the movie had and confused the fuck out of them. Now everybody in the internet says that Leprechaun Origins is part of... Well, it was a reboot to Leprechaun. No, it fucking wasn't. It had nothing to do with the Leprechaun we all love. Either way, it, it was just that, an A Leprechaun movie. Either way, it wasn't... That upsets me. It wasn't that bad. Because as soon as they said they were making it, and then they said Hornswoggle was going to play the Leprechaun, I was like, oh, cool, maybe he'll do a good job. And then it, ha it wasn't the same thing at all. It was a little creature. Yeah. I mean, and it you barely see it. It wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. I don't consider it a reboot, and if it was a reboot, it was a sad fucking attempt. The goddamn gators! It's raining like a motherfucker. Yeah, you're fucking doing this. I own you. <laughs> you're going out there. Remember, Demo. you have to show me your boobies. It's in the Constitution. Then my boobies. <laughs> It's my right as a citizen to see your boobies. I bet that guy's like a lot like Louis C.K. <laughs> hey, you want to shut that door? I'm just going to whack my weasel. Just going to beat my dick real quick. Excuse me. <laughs> Do you care if I get really violently sexual? Yeah, but see, if the porn guy dies first, then we're going to see less boob, because if he's out of the way, who are they going to show their boobs to? So there's an issue here. Well, eventually, you would think eventually, if you were with them all night, and their personalities were that shitty and stupid, you would just be done with the boobs after the first few times they did it. You'd be like, okay, put them away. We're done. We're done here. This fat slob of a guy's an asshole showing us. Fall, bitch. They all fall in the water. Great. They all fall down. Come on, there's alligators and, and fucking hatchet face people. Of course, the fat guy dies. My camera. My porn. My homie porn. No, Eat it. Great. Eat it. Eat that fat fuck. You gotta have an alligator scene in the bayous. <laughs> we don't wait shame on this channel, but this guy's a fat fuck. He's literally a fuck. He's like Ron Jeremy 2.0. Whatever, dude. You took so long to get out of that water, and that alligator would have got your ass. Hey, you and did. it just turns around my ass. They can walk on land, you know. No, 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 no. No, they're not land-based. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. <laughs> water <laughs> exclusively. <laughs> That's why they have feet. Dumb. 
his legs all the old man's legs all fucked Did up. Did you know they that walk whales by you now. can never die of old age? What? Whales don't die from old age. They die from the ability to go up and get air. Basically, they slowly drown because they're too. They can't like propel themselves up because they're so old. But that, I mean, I don't know. I don't really count that as old age. They just can't propel themselves up because they get too big. Hmm, that's interesting. That's still kind of technically old age that killed them. Yeah, more drowning because they can't. <laughs> they can't go up to get air. Just kind of fucked up. You know what I really want to see? A giant uh, squid fighting a fucking whale. That's like old piratey. This guy's got a really racist Asian accent. Well, he is he is Asian, so he's allowed to make those. I guess yeah. That's is that is that where we think it's fine is. As long as it's the race that's saying it, that makes and sense. And if he's okay with doing it. <laughs> he might have been hurt by it. Like, do you guys really think this is funny? <laughs> Am I allowed to be this racist? <laughs> you know, we really don't. We re- but it's the problem is he's Asian, and it's even horrible for an Asian guy. I wonder if he tried to like do an obvious like he, it's horrible. Well, he has that tour. He that purposely tour. does it bad yeah. for the joke of it, I think, which because is, he's horrible kind of fucked. at it. Hurry up and buy. <laughs> well, we're not leaving it up to the chauvinist pig who likes tits. Daniel Harris did a really good job about replacing that chick. She sounds like her and everything. So it's like kind of hard to notice? Yeah. No, well, no, it's very easy to notice. She sounds like her, but she doesn't look like her. But when does it change? By the second film. Oh. This actress did this one, and then Daniel Harris did the second one, and then she did... I don't think she was in the third one, but by Victor Crowley. Victor Crowley's the fourth one, and she did a cameo at the end of that. Kane Hodder himself chopping some motherfucking wood for the motherfucking winner with his motherfucking mongoloid son. Jesus Christ, that thing is ugly as fuck. Oh, that thing's adorable. Look at it. It just wants some fucking nasty ass oatmeal that's been sitting out for days. Blow on it. It's not hot. <laughs> I mean, as much as shit I'm ripping on that little fucking ugly ass baby. I mean, if my kid looked like that, I would still take care of it. I love my baby. But, I mean, like, god Yeah, damn. it'd be hard to have a kid and have it deformed. You would. Because, I mean. You wouldn't see it deformed. You would just see it as your child. And then it would be hard to take him in public. This little. This little Victor Crowley. You know what this scene reminded me of, too, kind of? Was, uh. It was a little bit of pumpkin head and a little bit of cabin fever. Yeah. Do you remember the pancakes, kid? Mm hmm. Pancakes! And he bites the chick. Man, I, I just feel. Not, and I just kind of feel bad for him. Like, like he was just, just trying to be a little kid. It is a very sad story how I mean, he died. I mean, he was just he was just being a kid. I mean, being a dad's kind of like. Changes a lot of res- perspective and stuff. You gain a lot of responsibility when you become a parent. Yeah. You feel more bad about other people. Because, like, I mean, even if I see someone being a piece of shit. You start to care a little bit y- more. And you're like, like, you're like, man. Some people. You're like, man, the, 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 that that's still someone's child. I mean, even though they're like 30 and they're like a crack that piece of shit. I mean, <laughs> still, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, that's someone's baby. <laughs> I get, I'm, I'm too fucking nice, I guess. The mean people set the house on fire in accident with some firecrackers. The door's on fire. Victor Crowley's dad tries to kick the door down. Victor Crowley gets up against the door, trying to push it open. And then Victor Crowley's father grabs a hatchet, bang, right through the door, straight into his head. Whack. 
That's how he got the name Hatchet. Well, did he blame his dad for it, though? No. His dad, uh, I, uh what happened to his dad? Oh, I mean, we're going to find out. That would f- oh, he died. Okay, he died of a broken heart. That would fuck you up if you killed your own kid in an accident. That would fuck you up for. It. Kane Hunter's not a bad actor either. A long time. Yeah. It br- yeah, it would. It fuck you up, especially your manga. You know what I mean? Like your son already had it rough, and you murdered him. <laughs> you, know I mean? you murdered your mongoloid child. In all fairness, you did kind of like put him out of his fucked up existence. I guess. It, it's, that's, it's, it's, it's a weird it's way to look at it. for a goofy B movie, you know? Yeah. <laughs> After seeing like 30 boobs in like the first five minutes of the movie, and it's like, oh yeah, a kid died. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way. That's he, the first time the movie actually breaks down and gets serious. It's like, oh yeah, he was special. <laughs> a special, I mean, fucked up goblin looking thing. <laughs> Rumber Stilskin like fucked a Chucky doll, and that came out. No, um, the, hey you guy, the dude from fucking the Goonies, <laughs> Superman dude. I'm beside your mama. And it reminds me of that guy from fucking <laughs> Deus <laughs> Big Low. Your mama's in here. Go for it. At least he's polite and ass. He's like, can I fucking turn this stupid ass movie off now? I love my babies. Yeah. He uh other day asked me, Are you what are you legally doing here? <laughs> I was like, I'm just sitting <laughs> I like how they're they're out here and the house is right beside them. And they just fucking now notice it. Like, oh, there's a fucking house smoking with lights coming out of it. And you guys just now notice it? We're never going to find a house out here. It's actually right five feet there. <laughs> then the women. They are the strongest. Dude, listen. Show them some titties. Maybe he'll This calm is down. why people need to carry guns. No, no, just show him some boobies and maybe Oh, I love, you, you know what it is, is I love this scene. I love this next murder, because I think the old man and woman get, they're the next ones to get murdered. Victor Crowley comes running out and just rips his head off. Yeah, it's pretty fucking aggressive. He, like, he's pretty, he's pretty aggressive in this movie. Not progressive, but aggressive. Progressive. See, she carries a pistol. She's smart enough to bring a goddamn gun. Why bitch Plus, there's crazy. gators out there. Why would you go out there unarmed? Because I had Seems trust in an Asian man. I had what, does he know karate? Is that is that how racist is going to get? <laughs> like, he's a jujitsu master? No, you fucking die, and we're all happy that you do. He kind of looks like Jordan a little bit from the side. You know? Doesn't he? Who? He looks kind of like Jordan. <laughs> Cousin Jordan? A little bit. Out of focus, kind of like. <laughs> Look at that. Sure, sure, yeah. Don't fucking sure me. Yeah, Julia Roberts was also an actress. So does your mama. That's wh- What is that supposed to fucking mean? People in New Orleans sleep with their own family members? Hey, Drew Brees would not stand for this fucking mockery. Who the fuck? Fuck Drew Brees. He's Brees a quarterback. These nuts? He's a quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. How are they still walking to that fucking house that was ten feet from them? <laughs> They're like, how fucking far is it? How far is the house? It, like, it looked look. like it was a, it was like f- f- fifty to a hundred feet away. Like, how how far is the house? Look fucking forward, dipshit! It's right God in front damn of it. us. Where is it? Where'd it go? No, oh, we fucking passed it. <laughs> How'd you fucking walk past the whole house? 
Kane Hodder, when he was making these films, he was in the woods when they were filming this. And in between takes, he'd like scream and break branches and shit because they never saw him until he would pop out on camera. I feel like he'd be the kind of dick that would just make... Just, just watch him no matter what. Just like, I'm, I'm still watching you. Even I'm not supposed to be here. I'm always in the fucking bushes. He scares the shit out of him. For sure. Well, I mean, look at the fucking dude. He's almost a child. Yeah, I keep seeing that. That's new. You gonna get your hair ripped off? My no, question. There's still fucking. It's the only good point still that guy's brought away. up is. They're still 30 feet away from that fucking house. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart, we're gonna make it. Oh fuck! That scared the fuck out of me. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the goodies. <laughs> it's the goodies. He's pissed. <laughs> He's just chopping his shoulder with a hatchet. <laughs> he wanted his candy bar. Chopping away at the man's shoulder. <laughs> he needed hit shuffle shuffle. <laughs> She's just like no. Chopped him right in half. Dude. This is this is who gets their head ripped dude, off. Look at this. Dude, he puts that... his hands in her mouth and he just rips open her. She just saw her husband almost cut in half. She was like, "Can you can you please stop? I need to call your manager." <laughs> Quit. <laughs> A mongoloid comes out of the woods like that with long ass hair and overalls. He's like, you know, six foot five. Big ass muscles on him and shit. He fucking has to fucking P90X that bitch. He probably wrestles gators. No, he gets P90X on his little fucking radio station. That'd be funny if they just walked in on him fucking doing exercises. Just lift the weights. <clears throat> Can you guys come back later? I'm kind of fucking getting yoked. Oh no, they're murdered. That mongoloid freak monster killed him. No way. No way. That scary fuck that ran out with the hatchet murdered them. Oh, dude, they're fucking dead? Oh, wow. I would have never guessed that. I really thought he was just coming out to I give him directions. They didn't even watch see that. They just fucking saw that guy and booked it. I like how that guy's like, oh, yeah, that guy clearly can't climb trees. <laughs> he clearly can't climb trees. He can fucking pick it up off the ground. No, they're fucking fireflies, dipshit. That way. No, I do not. If you're going to be racist movie, you should just have the black guy packing a pistol and being able to call his boys. Dude, all he has to do is show him some fucking boobies and I guarantee that guy will calm down. He's like, all right, I've never seen those before. Well, what's hey, up? Hey, there's <laughs> boobs and they're down here at the bottom on the floor. At the floor of the forest. He's like, what's up, boobs? You're new. <laughs> <laughs> what is a female? <laughs> I would not know. I was Captain Zide. The the uh, porn guy, the Dude. Girls Gone Wild guy gets lost. He out finds his camera and watches it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Humans uh, are cool. <laughs> actually, it's funny you say that. Um, John Beekler in the second one, the guy who drinks his own pee, he's in the second one and he finds the camera and sees all the titties. Sees all the boobies. He's like, fuck yeah, boobies. <laughs> Slut shaming won't save us now, ladies. Yeah, stay right there, you fucking moron. Yeah, it's a your, fact. Your he best bet is to leave. He clearly can't climb trees. It's, it's a known fact. Why is that? Do you know him? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, that's it. He, he can't climb trees. What is he doing wrong? He's up in the tree. I just like titties, man. Come on. I totally get it, man. I just like titties. And he falls. Ha, 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 ha. With a crazy face, yeah. And he's like, I'm good. That's fucking, you hear shit rustling in the background, like a fucking tin can. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he fucking, he fell in the woods. Is Why that is guy there wearing makeup? Can? It looks like it. Looks like he's wearing makeup. A lot. 
borderline uh, cross-dresser, it looks like. Very heavily under the eyes. Oh, shit. There he is. He's this man's hiding in the bushes. He's coming for your bush. No. Or your booty. Look how tall they tried to make him look. That's got to be seven foot five. <laughs> it's like seven feet tall, dude. Look at all that fucking blood, jeebus. They tried to make him look gigantic. He's fucking King ripped. Otter's like maybe six one, maybe six. Oh, two. I'm taller than I mean, that. Maybe shorter than that. But I'm, I'm, I'm taller than that. Boom. I thought you were playing the guitar or something. <laughs> yeah, I just pulled one out of my ass. Little ukulele. Oh my God! Now's not the time to be catty, ladies. Quit talking about porn. Jesus Christ! Even in dire need situations, women are just like, "You're a bitch." No, you're a bitch. You're a bigger bitch. Oh yeah, I have tits. I'm a Gemini. Oh fuck. That's what I said, dipshit. Poltergeist. You've seen way too many scary movies. Cue the music. Oh, he's that guy. He's he's the horror movie nerd. <laughs> Fucking dipshit. Oh, fuck. He just called him Jackie Chan. That's racist as fuck. He threw in Chris Tucker. Is Chris Tucker Asian now? Is it, is it, did the blacks just own him? He's like, you're Chris Tucker, but I'm I Asian. I think he was making a rush hour reference because he's black and he's Asian. Boom, yeah. A boy pile fight. How homoerotic. Just fighting each other, swinging, punching. I like how both actors got at least one good hit on each other. And the Asian man looks very angry. Look, we That's found the, the little porn. Asian man. We found the porn. <laughs> it's okay. Ben Shapiro? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, she she said again that applies it that it happened the f oh, oh, first time, <laughs> or at least once. You do it, I'll do it again. We'll all do it again. We'll suck each other off. In fact, oh hey, a real flashlight. I figured it'd be a flashlight. <laughs> he whips it out and it's not a real flashlight. It's a flashlight. He just keeps tapping on it. Where's the button? You guys, I think this is a vagina, <laughs> but I'm not sure. Beep, boom, beep, boom. <laughs> oh, you mean to tell me his? It, they pull out his wallet out of his stuff. You mean to tell me he's not really like who he says he is? Doug Shapiro. Why does that sound so familiar? Like it sounds like somebody like Doug Shapiro. Some. It seems like a very official name. Ben Shapiro. That's why. Yeah. That's why it sounds familiar. He just got some titty pig. <sighs> it's not all men. Apparently, it's her, her father. Because that, that's disgusting. That, that you blow. <laughs> Jesus. And you hop on it. Black guy's being very rude with the flashlight. I didn't think I'd be good at NYU. It was my first choice, but I didn't get it. So I had to outstruck. No one cares. The you know, that almost sounded like the girl at the beginning of Texas Chainsaw Massacre before she blows her brains out in the back of the van. Yeah, when I first saw that, that was a pretty traumatic to watch for the very first time. It was a great camera shot, though, right through her head. That like It was insane how they filmed that. That movie's awesome. I'm not a big fan of the actor who played Leatherface, but it was... I mean, he was fucking... Back then, he was fucking crazy. That dude was fucking... Like a fucking little piggy. No, he did good. He did good with the role, but he's... I don't know. He's kind fucking of an asshole. Won that... Fucking chainsaw around. 
Like a little fucking whack job. I can't wait to watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. <sighs> that should be the next one we do. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Matthew we still got to do Devil's Rejects. We got to follow yeah. up House of a Thousand Corpses. Do that one, but that movie takes forever because that one. Fucking All of these movies do. They're all an hour and a half. What is that? Mm, but some movies make it fun to watch the entire hour and a half. Some movies don't really. Come well, that's why much. I picked Hatchet because I know that it's it's goofy. I mean, if anything, I mean, it's just entertaining at some points. Damn, that house. That was like 100 feet is back <laughs> in our face again. I didn't know this motherfucker was ran by the Blair Witch. This dude has so many fucking houses. <laughs> this dude got mansions everywhere. <laughs> yeah, every time you go to the fucking house, a big fucking scary dude comes running out. <laughs> What if the same thing, it's a repeat cycle? That'd be weird. That's it's his, like a Groundhog Day deal. That's his spawn point. <laughs> yeah. <he's, laughs> he just runs out and does the same thing this to them. My, this is my only trick. 